Hello there, welcome to Project 254. My name is Laban Cliff. A lot has been said about the Standard Gauge Railway, looking at its cost and looking at, of course, what exactly is the impact of the SGR to you? And that's the question we'll be answering in the next few minutes as we take you through this train ride of the Standard Gauge Rail Line. <laughs> June 2017. The sound of a proud nation after the launch of the much awaited standard gauge railway commuter train service christened the Madaraka Express. Tuanze kwanza gari moja kila siku inatoka Mombasa na gari moja inatoka Nairobi. Waende watatue shida tuendele tuendele mpaka baada ya miezi kadhaa tuwe sasa na schedule ile ambayo itakuweko be patient my brothers and sisters a launch that added to the various efforts and achievements by president Uhuru Kenyatta to improve the country's infrastructure and open up the country to greater possibilities of prosperity and growth Fast forward to April 2019 and the tales to tell about Kenya's commuter train service are only getting better. It is 1 p.m. at the Standard Gauge Railway Nairobi Terminus. Many Kenyans have already arrived here to check in, ready for the 2 p.m. express train journey from Nairobi to Mombasa. Security here is taken very seriously, leaving nothing to chance. This, according to the National Police Service, ensures all Kenyans are guaranteed their safety aboard the SGR train. Before the departure of the 2.30 p.m. train to Mombasa, the inter-county train from Mombasa to Nairobi arrives first. From the figures we get from the officials here, the train was fully booked on this particular day, as has been the case on several other days in the course of the year. Top on the list of advantages for many Kenyans is the reduction of travel time on the train to about five hours compared to road travel, which takes close to 10 hours. For me, it's faster to go via SGR. And uh, yeah, the experience so far is good. Uh, I wouldn't, every time I want to go home, I only think about SGR. I don't, I don't think about going by road. It was awesome. The reason why I came back again is because these guys are doing a good job. It's awesome. It's very fast. Yeah, I like it. Here, the first timers only regret is not using the SGR train sooner, an experience they say cannot be traded for road transport. The experience was good. They have good services. The train is really clean, and they are very, and they very, they are, they, are, they keep time. You know. When they say that we'll reach Mombasa at this time, it's that time that you're going to reach Mombasa. Like, when you step out, it's only like one minute after the destination time, yes. The SGR experience is indeed a story many love to tell. Their only wish being that the government could consider adding the train frequency to accommodate the increasing number of commuters. Maybe if they would increase the amount of the number of departures from Mombasa and Nairobi to make it a bit more convenient for us because traveling during the day means you're wasting an entire day. So if they would increase the, uh, change the timings or increase the number of departures, that would be great. It's about one o'clock in Nairobi and there are over a thousand guests who are sitting here waiting to board the SGR to various destinations uh, towards, of course, the final destination being Mombasa. Now, you picture that. What's going to be the impact towards tourism? Well, now, some or all of these guests actually check into hotels, into uh, various uh, lodges down at the coast. What's going to be the impact on domestic tourism? When the time came to board the express train from Nairobi to Mombasa,
the enthusiasm continued to register in the faces of many commuters who we found out came from various parts of the country. Travelers from as far as northeastern, western Kenya, Rift Valley, and even across borders came here seeking to utilize the holiday season with their families. The bookings in the SGR Express train are no different from the ones in the intercounty train. This too is fully booked. We get to learn that it is not just affordability and comfort that drives many people to use the SGR. Some of the passengers in this train are here for the sightseeing. It's like also something like a safari, a free safari. So you get to see more things and it's really comfortable. So sort of like safety, it has really changed. You know, there are so many people who don't really like flying. They have like, they are scared. So this is a really nice thing. And like me, me myself, I fly, but I'm still scared. I really, I'm not a flying person. So I'm really happy to have something like this. We caught up with other passengers who have more to tell than just the SGR story. Passengers like Margaret Kinyanjui, who used the old meter gauge railway train back in 1984. She says the difference between the old and the new train is like night and day. It took so long. I became so exhausted from Nairobi to Kisumu and Kisumu to Nairobi. Um, I was very tired. The journey was very exhausting. Kwa natafauti sana kwa sababu ilikuwa slow sana. Mta ilikuwa nakaa wakati mlevu sana kufika uko pali unaenda mpaka usiku kusha. Lakini hii ikona speed sana and very comfortable because it's also cream. There's much difference between the other one and this one. Because the previous one, it was too noisy and slow. But this one, it, it's not too noisy and the speed you can save on time. Others, like James Ireri, have used the train 110 times. His reason? The timeliness of the travel. Punctuality is, it is even better than air travel. And I can repeat that on camera 100 times, that air travel is not as punctual as SGR. I know what time I'll leave and what time I'll arrive. Besides being an efficient mode of transport for many Kenyans, the advent of the standard gauge railway has also created many job opportunities for several people, and especially the youth who are involved in a number of operations aboard the train and also at the various train terminals along the SGR line. This is in addition to those who have leveraged on the train service to set up other related businesses that put food on their table. On arrival at the Mombasa terminus, the crowds coming from the train require transportation to their different destinations. It is here that the taxi business comes in handy. Actually, kiupandwa taxi kuna mapato mazuri. Kwa sabu, before umbradwa taxi ukuje, tunukua tunafanya ele taxi ile ya kubangaiza bangaiza. Lakini saizi, watu vile unavoshuka ni wengi, so at least tunapata mapato zaidi. It is not just about the taxi business. Other youth have also other opportunities. Uh, Vijana sehemu hii, kwanza kabisa tunuona pia kuna boda boda. Ambo boda boda kitambo wengine walikuwa kwa manyumbani ya walikuwa na kazi. Laki sasa SGR vile mekuja wengi wa minulua boda boda, wameza kwa jiriwa. Kuna wengi wa mbo wa najiusisha na kuza maji, mbo pio ni ajira. Kuna wale pio wa mbo wa mekuja hapa na mpatiwa magari, wanafanya na taxi. Abapo kitambo upale walikuwa wani opportunity ya kuweza kufanya kazi. Kwa hivyo naweza kusema kama hapa hivi vijana wameza kuinuka kupitia mradiu sana. Sababu awana ile time ya kukaa nyumbani na kufikiria vitu zengine ambazo wazifai. As the government works with other stakeholders to make the movement from the train terminus to other parts of Mombasa County easier, youth like Winnie have come up with an efficient way, the SGR shuttle service. Sababu niliona watu wana sana, sababu wale watu wanakuja huku wengi ni wageni. 
na wajui hiyo station mahali iko wakijaribu kuingia matatu hapa wajui ataenda kushukia wapi sasa hiyo idea tukasema tulete gari iwachukuange hapa mpaka terminus bila ku the SGR train transports above 1500 people at a go when it is fully booked in both the economy and first class when these visitors arrive in the coastal city of Mombasa, it brings more fortune to the tourism sector. Hoteliers at the coast have reported increased local tourism since the launch of the SGR train service. Both hotels and tour operators are working closely uh, with the SGR. Uh, there are things like you know, packages that have been formed, you know, which is a one price kind of a package which includes you know, both the traveling aspect yeah, through the SGR and the hotel accommodation. So those kind of things also make it easier. Someone wants just to know that I pay one price and everything has been taken care of. So I will come directly, maybe I'll even be picked from somewhere in Nairobi, taken to the SGR terminal in Nairobi. Then from there I'm dropped at Mombasa terminal. Then there's a vehicle waiting for me or for us as a group then it takes us to the hotel and all that is packaged into one SGR imekuwa manufaa kwetu maana tangu hapo awali wakati SGR ilikuwa imetokezea hatukua tunapata roko wa tourists kutoka upande wa bara lakini kwa wakati huu tunapata wengi wengi sana wanaiminika humu Mombasa na kutupatia biashara umesaidia sana kwa sababu wageni wengi wanakuja kutoka Nairobi na fikiri wanatumia SGR Kwa hivyo kwa, kwa, kwa kuja ya siyari na fikiri mesaidia sana kwa biashara yetu huku. Kwa sababu ya biashara utali kusema ulu kweli saa imeenda chini sana. Lakini kulingana hivi ile imekuja hii ya siyari kidogo inasaidia kwa upande wa local tourist. In fact ilo jambo ni naona kama litatuletea kidogo uchumi kwa kwa amka. Kama wataleta waneno wa, wa East Africa lazima watalala kwenye maoteli. Hawa Kenya wetu wengine wanalala kwenye vinyumba vidogo vidogo huko sasa tunawapata kidogo sana kwa hivyo ikichanganywa na Afrika wa nje ninaona kidogo tutakuwa na uwezo wa kusamehe hizi kazi zimefufuka statistics show that for every one hotelier employed we create 11 jobs because one their families are getting uh, fed and then Suppliers are relying on us, and suppliers are coming from as far as Meru, Tanzania, Malindi. Uh, so we're creating jobs for them. So the fuller the hotels, the better it is for the economy. The efforts by the government to enhance security in the country have also borne much fruit for the tourism sector. The perception that was there about insecurity in this country is gone. There is a lot that has been done about security. So this and uh, tranquility in the country that there is now has just zoomed up the tourism business. In Mombasa, we've had a lot more uh, business coming in, domestic tourism. So because of the peace and uh, the people who are seeing the value of visiting uh, their country. There's been a debate whether to use road or the standard gauge railway cargo transportation system. Over the next few minutes, we'll be explaining to you why this is the best viable option for businesses in Kenya. The standard gauge railway has done more than just change the face of transport and infrastructure in Kenya by reducing travel time for commuters. This is the port of Mombasa. It is Kenya's gateway to East and Central Africa and, by extension, the world. The port operates for 24 hours every day to ensure efficiency in the evacuation of containers. When we arrived here, Port officials were busy evacuating containers from the various ships that are docked here to various destinations within the port. Key to all our officials in terms of vessel performances, in terms of SGR performance, in terms of uh, cargo daily evacuations, is basically on evacuation from the port. And we have got so many, uh, we have got two, three different outlets uh, for evacuation. 
We are, we are evacuating right now through vessels that are picking export and empties through vessels which are being loaded and shipped uh, for export. Then you have evacuation through the road. Uh, this is for local transport, uh, local cargo that are coming through the CFSs. And then you have got transit cargo that passes through the road, through our local gates, the road evacuation to inland uh, destinations. Then now we have the standard gauge railway that started last year. And it's now evacuating so much out of, from the port that is really being uh, a very, very big impact in efficiencies or levels of, our, of the port. Now the goods that you see here are destined for countries such as Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda and Burundi, increasing trade between Kenya and its neighbours. The government is concerned about the time it takes to clear these goods from the port and also the cost of transporting these goods to these nations. <laughs> It is here that the standard gauge railway has completely changed the dynamics as far as cargo transportation is concerned. Instead of using the convectional road transport where hundreds of trucks are stuck in traffic and route Nairobi with cargo from the port of Mombasa, many people have opted to use the SGR for their cargo. Which, besides shortening transit time, also provides cargo safety assurances. Safety, first and foremost, is guaranteed. The, the, the speed at which also move, uh, the cargo moves along the, the transit line from Mombasa Nairobi is also, uh, is also safe uh, and, and, and ensure that there's not even the, the challenge or the opportunity or the chance for any form of pilferage. Between January 2018 and January 2019, the SGR cargo train moved 319,000 TEUs, which translates to 3.5 million tons of cargo. While in the month of March alone, the SGR train cargo moved 19,128 TEUs, registering a 15% increase from the previous month. The Kenya Ports Authority clarifies the misunderstanding on the pricing of the SGR cargo transportation service. It was a promotional rate. Promotional rates doesn't last forever. At some point in time, promotional rates will end and the standard rates now will be applied. So what we, have, what we are seeing now is the standard rate for the usage of SGR. But remember, while you think that uh, the standard rate is high, then I don't know where why you are compare. I, I don't know where you are comparing with road or whatever. If you think it is higher, then look at the benefits that you'll move through economies of scale, benefits of safety, benefits of security, that far surpasses the whatever premium that you must pay for that freight. So clients are willing to pay a higher premium to ensure that their cargo get, gets. In, uh, on time, which is uh, critical in the lead time in the supply chain. They, are, they get their cargo safe and secure and also get as much volumes they can move in one haul in a single trip to, Na to Nairobi and beyond. The SGR cargo service has also been good news to the business community. It's a correlation between the port and the train because the goods that are coming from the port are the ones that are going to the, to the interior. So if we don't do what we are supposed to do in terms of opening up using the railway, it means that we are losing on the regional trade and it's going to really hump our, our, our goals like those who are goals of uh, having a, an enlarged economy in South Africa. Operations concerning the SGR cargo train at the port of Mombasa are carried out by the youth. The government has prioritized employment for the youth here to ensure they too put to practice the skills they have learned in technical, vocational and education training institutes. Most of us who operate these machines we were trained by Bandari College and we got uh, opportunities from uh, for we came from uh, the CFS and now we are in SGR. So uh, whatever we are doing here, 
uh, that is new is about uh, the loading of uh, the wagons because uh, thereafter we were just loading uh, the trucks. So uh, we get uh, more, more experienced uh, to loading of uh, the trucks, the, the wagons. The expansion of SGR will give uh, uh, better job opportunities and for the youth especially because we have an, uh, there's an age limit. So it is more attractive to the youth to apply and uh, get a job here. The plans to have the SGR cargo train go all the way to Naivasha is already spelling out the good fortunes that await the country as far as easing trade with her neighbors is concerned. We, we are not looking at uh, today and tomorrow, two years or 20 years. We are looking at beyond 20 years. We are looking at the economy at large. We are looking at the economies of East Africa at large. And I believe the SGR project will grow these economies to an extent even unimaginable. This railway is not just for us. It is for the many, many generations that will come long after we are gone. And the foundation that we lay today that will help lead us in to an industrialization chapter as we move to develop special economic zones along this railway line, as we move to establish the Dongokundu SEZ, and all this being made possible by the investments that we have made in rail to reduce the cost of moving goods. Well, I really hope you enjoyed your ride today on the Maduraka Express. It's true that the SGR project was built through a loan, but if you look towards the benefits that have accrued to this country, looking towards the job creation, economic development, the interconnectivity with the neighboring countries, on a face value, indeed, the benefits far outweigh the costs that have gone into this project. Well, one only looks forward to the next project that will be uh, in Naivasha. And, uh, but for now, for everyone who's made this program uh, possible, I've been your host, Lab and Cliff. What I'll tell you for now is Tukutane Naivasha. <laughs> Shit, I need it.